fighting there. Well, they're talking about 50 years fight against poverty. But they're not uh, explaining why people are in poverty. That's because a lot of the government money to help the people are going towards organized crime. I've lived in housing run by them where they will have uh, children in senior housing where uh, their workers can uh, use tenants' apartments to have their lunch and watch their TVs while they still have to pay electricity the tenant. But this is what goes on, where uh, managers will uh, be the watch dog while the maintenance man goes into your apartment and steals. Yes, this is the type of housing HUD is supporting. Now, I won't go back to certain uh, companies where I've been robbed. There's only two places that I can talk about where uh, nothing bad really happened for freedoms. And um, in Oregon, Summerfield's Estates were the only two places where uh, things didn't get out of hand, where the management uh, cared about the tenants and uh, did their best. And believe me, I've lived in a lot of housing because I won't stay where I've been robbed. Uh, one of the times I moved was because um, I had to go back to New York for workers' compensation because they weren't sending me my checks. Now, my attorneys, Poppinish, Reef, Timorero, that law firm, represented me. And uh, they knew I flew back from Washington State to New York City. Now, uh, people were told by a certain person not to put me up while I was waiting to go to workers' compensation court. But uh, that's another story. Anyway, what happened was that while he, I'm waiting to hear from my attorneys about when the hearing is supposed to be, they call me up and tell me, uh, we had the hearing and uh, you lost. Well, how did I lose? Because Liberty Mutual didn't send the checks, I believe, on orders of the same person who... Uh, didn't want me to stay in any family member's apartment. And that was including my own daughter, who, uh, believe me, got more than uh, a lot of children who uh, grow up in a low middle class uh, neighborhood. She went places. Now, <coughs> Getting back to the attorneys and Liberty Mutual, who's the insurance company who sends me the check, I've been, you know, three quarters disabled. That's before the heart attack. That's before I needed surgeries, not on one knee, because it took over a year for me to see a specialist who took x rays and said both knees need surgery. And this is Liberty Mutual. Now, today I had a hearing and I told them, why should Popish, Reef, Timorero, and so forth and so on get paid when I should have been notified 
of that hearing years ago, which they lost because there's claims that the insurance company showed canceled checks while well, they couldn't have. And who was the judge? Well, I asked those questions. The judge said, well, Mr. Perez, um, okay, but they're still going to get paid for the day. And I'm asking myself, why should they? When I've been fighting with the courts for years about how they mishandled my case, because there's no way in hell that Liberty Mutual showed proof of payment. Either somebody was in on the take, or uh, maybe the person who told Liberty Mutual not to send me checks so I could come back to New York and maybe marry uh, somebody's cousin who happens to be Puerto Rican, which they didn't add up to my wife's intelligence. And uh, why should I marry a woman with children when my own mother-in-law turned my wife, my late wife, against my first child? I mean, using that woman's standards, I wasn't going to marry one of her cousins because I worked so hard and but I'm going to support that criminal family because that's what the government's doing today. That's why the war on poverty hasn't worked because those same criminal elements own property today, run senior housing today, where a lot a lot of tenants are being robbed in their housing, but they still collect. They still get vans paid for on the tax taxpayers' money, which shouldn't be happening. They, I know one company even had a uh, a pot uh, expert, uh, where they sold pot. And, uh, of course, you had to have a doctor's note to, in order to buy it. But these people, this company was, is, not was, is still receiving government funds. Why isn't there enough money for uh, food for children, for seniors? I'll tell you why, because organized crime is getting that money today. That's why people go hungry, people are out in the streets, people don't have jobs, because who runs the banks? It's organized crime, because I knew members of that woman's family who were vice presidents in a bank. Some were even presidents of banks. So why is money being stolen, you ask? Well, that's why. Why isn't there enough money for the poor, the elderly? Because organized crime is getting that money. And if you speak up about it, people don't want to hear it. And these are some of our elected officials. Now, I've written a letter outlining many discrepancies, and I hope and pray to God that finally I've contacted the right people, because not even the Attorney General of the United States, yes, Mr. Holden, gave me the proper information, because he is afraid of organized crime. And 
I'm sorry to say that because I voted for the president twice. But he's got a man who's afraid of organized crime. Or maybe that's the way things work. And you want, and I are meant to be victimized. Because uh, today, people are, uh, how can I put it? They don't govern by the Constitution anymore. Look at New Jersey. Perfect example of how the government is today in the United States. And, and that shouldn't be. You know, you got elected, you're supposed to do a job. Not play childish, idiotic games that put American citizens in a harm's way. You know, I'm sorry, uh, Governor of New Jersey, Chris Christie, but uh, I wouldn't elect you for door catcher because uh, you evidently have poor judgment by the people you have around you shows me you cannot govern properly. And I've heard stories about people's houses not being fixed after the flood, the hurricane that hit the Jersey Shore. Okay, yeah, uh, businesses were fixed. But what about poor people, middle class? It, it seems that they've complained and you have deaf ears or you don't want to hear about it because you're Mr. Tough Guy. Well, I'm not a Mr. Tough Guy. I just say it as I see it. And there's a lot wrong in this country because of politicians like you. I hope the letter I've sent out I will get hearing behind it, will get investigated, because if it does get investigated, there'll be a lot of people put in jail, doctors, lawyers, and uh, housing managers, where there's been too much corruption, too much robbery of tenants of decent elderly tenants that deserve better treatment for the rent they're paying, but no, when they want to get out, they even charge for a new rug, a new carpet, even though the original wasn't laid down properly. This is what is going on in the United States today, and it's disgusting how lawyers can get money for being incompetent or corrupt. You choose from what I've mentioned about the attorneys who handled or mishandled my case. Because at the very least, I should have been informed. I should have been at that hearing. But I believe I was kept away. And my own attorneys facilitated that. So do they deserve to get paid today when the uh, judge finally said, okay, you guys are fired, even though it's taken, I don't know how many years, over five years, and uh, a lot of certified mail return receipts, they shouldn't be paid. And workers' comp should be looked into. Because even the advocate's office today told me, no, today's the 12th, not the 13th. You know, a lot of wrongdoing is going on in today's government. That's why the war on poverty has not been successful. And in order for the war on poverty to be successful, we need to have a war on organized crime. And uh, we need to have only public monies for elections. That means the politician only owes the people. 
and not the big donors. What is your opinion?